Magic U PC Part 5 Patching. All right, we're going to actually get into doing some programming here. Before we do, uh, let's save this as a particular file. And Magic Q will autosave every time that you make a change in something. Let's go up to File and do Save As. I'm going to type a name and we're going to do Small Theater. And hit Return. Now, it won't appear up here, but when we go to open this show, we can find it. It'll have that name on it. So, And it actually shows you down here in the command line that the show was saved as C users for sound of documents magic queue. So under your documents folder, if you look for magic queue slash show, you'll see small theater show. And that's where you can go to open this up. Okay, now, before we do some patching, uh, it would help if we actually have something that we have to patch. So I thought it would be a great idea if I actually have a little plot, and that would be the best way to show you how we do some patching. So I created a small theater here. We have uh, five incandescent lights on the first electric, and um, so it's lights one, two, three, four, and five. The DMX address for those lights is this is DMX1. This is 3 because I've got another DMX outlet here that I'm not using. This is DMX 5, 8, and then 10 because there are some DMX outlets on there that I'm, I'm not using. Okay, Make this up. Then we have some more incandescent lights here. Uh, source 4, 26 degrees. Light 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And uh, same idea. This is DMX 11, DMX 13, DMX 15, DMX 18, DMX 20. I was able to color them. This one has uh, Roscoe 03 gels in it, and this has Roscoe 04 gels in it, and so those are re, uh, regular incandescent lights. Uh, we have some Rogue R1 spots because we're a community theater with a little bit of money. <laughs> so we have some Rogue R1 spots here down on the front, on the front electric that we're using. Uh, and these have a DMX address of 200 and 220. Um, I have some Color Dash PAR, uh, 12 channel PARs. And they are here, uh, Chauvet Color Dash Par H12Xs. And I have these set up at DMX address 40, 60, 80, and 100. And notice that it's uh, light number 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then back here in the back, I have some Chauvet Color Bound Band H9s running in 18 channel mode. I call this light 25, 26, 27. And it's DMX address 120, 140, and 160. So I've got my plot all filled in here. So one of the important things with um, Magic UPC is you want to give the lights an identification number besides a name, uh, using an identification number because you'll see why it's easier to call up uh, those lights when you're making changes then using the keypad. So let's get over here and do some patching. Let's patch these five lights first here. One, two, three, four, and five. They're just standard incandescent lights. So go to Magic Q. Uh, we're in, the, we want to get out of the setup window. So I'm going to hold down my control and go to my patch window that I had set up before. Or you can just simply click patch over here. Now for the generic dimmers and that, those are very easy. I'm just going to choose dimmer and just say click on generic dimmer here. So now it will tell you up here, this is the type of light that we are trying to patch. It's a generic dimmer. Next thing we do is we click on patch it and I want to patch five of these lights. Now the easiest way to do it is just simply select five and say enter. Uh, patching first head, do you want to insert these into the visualizer? We're going to say yes, we'll auto insert them in. All right, so that's it's that easy. We just patched five lights in and auto numbered them one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we don't have a color gel in, and we don't. We have the DMX addresses, but they're not the DMX addresses that we want. So this is great. I want to show you how to go in and edit. So if you remember, let's take a look at our patch list here. We have uh, DMX address 1, 3, 5, 8, and 10. So let's go back and fix this then. Simply, 1 is fine. Uh, double click on this and type in 3. And it'll ask you a question and say, yes, go ahead. So now that's changed to Universe 1 DMX 3, Channel 3. Uh, we're going to change this to 5. Uh, move aside heads. Okay, so we move that to 5. Light 1, 2, 3. Uh, light 4, what was it, 8? Light 4 is DMX 8, right? 8. And uh, DMX 
channel 10. So there we went. We went ahead and fixed our DMX addresses. We have 1, 3, 5, 8, and 10. It's our uh, head numbers, they call them, refer to them as head numbers. So from now on, I'll just say head number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if we want to put a color gel in here, remember that we had this labeled as an R3. We don't necessarily have to do that, but actually putting different color gels in for lights that are in different position helps when you're programming in Magic Q because it helps you to differentiate between what lights are in, in what positions where. So click up here with your mouse and simply drag down. And if we go down to, if you remember, this is a Roscoe color. It's Roscoe 03. If I just type in period 3, enter, it automatically puts in the Roscoe color. Roscoe 3 is a dark bastard amber. That's the color for that particular gel. If you wanted to do lead gels, just simply type in the number. So while I have these highlighted, I, I simply type in 3, enter, and it would do lead. But the lead, of course, lead... Uh, a lead gel number three is actually lavender tint. So I have Roscoe gel, so I'm going to do that period three, and it, that's a dark bastard amber for the Roscoe, and you can click anywhere. Now, one other identifier besides the name, we'll probably want to give it some kind of identifier so we know where it is. So we can simply, again, click here and drag down, and then I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click set, and a keyboard will come up, you can easily use this keyboard with your mouse, or you can actually use your keyboard. I'm going to use my backspace key and put in FOH for front of house lights and then hit return. So now these lights are labeled as front of house. So we've got head numbers one through four. We fixed the DMX addresses. We've labeled them. We would actually put gels in them. Uh, let's do the next set of lights and we'll just show you another option here when you're typing in. So we still have generic dimmers up here. We have to do lights 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to say patch it. I'm going to patch heads 6 through 10. All right, so it's going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So the software knows we're going to be patching five lights. And then I can say at universe 1 starting with address well, what was our first address down here? Let's see. 11, starting with address 11. So we have 6 through 10 at universe 1 at channel 11, enter. So now we have this starting at 11. If we had not done that, it would have tried to find the nearest open channels and patch them in there. So that's why you want to put that universe and channel uh, in there again. So let me just do that for you one more time. We'll just take these. And by the way, getting rid of lights is very easy. Mouse, drag down, highlight. You go down here and you click remove, R-E-M. You may have to click it twice. It's going to ask, do you want to remove heads? Are you sure? Just click yes. Boom, they're gone. So let's do that again. So again, we're going to do patch it. I want heads 6 through 10. And it uses that caret for through. And at universe 1, starting with address 11, enter. So now it'll patch head 6 through 10, starting at universe 1, address 11, DMX. Again, we, we have to go in and give it a color in that. So let's fix our DMX addresses. Uh, what do I have? 11, 13, 15, 18, and 20. All right, so we fixed it there. So I'm going to highlight here. Click and drag, hit set, backspace over the word dimmer, and say electric one. Click enter, and then we have a name in. going to click, drag my mouse, type in point 0.4. Okay, so we have all our incandescent lights patched, so the next thing we're going to do is start patching some of our fancier lights that are on here. Let's go ahead and we'll... Uh, patch these survey so color dash par h12 x's and we're going to patch them in 12 channel mode and let's take a note uh, we're going to use head number 21 22 23 24 for these and starting at address 40. all right go back and take a look so now we have to do choose head thousands and thousands of heads that's the chave pro head we're going to do color dash par hex 12 and it's going to be in 12 channel mode all right, so if you look it up, look up here, it says we have 
This is the light that we have ready to patch. Now we have to patch it. Let's take a look again at what we're going to be patching. Uh, head 21, 22, 23, and 24. So four heads starting at address 40. So let's go ahead and do that. So patch it. So 21 through 24, those are my head numbers, at universe 1 starting at channel 40, enter. All right. Now, you notice what it did here, too. It did 40, and it's 12 channels, so it did the next one at 52. It did the next one at 64, the next one at 76. I'll show you a little trick where we could have set up these DMX addresses automatically. What I like to do a lot of times with fancy lights like this, if I have room and have enough channels, is set them up so they don't have weird starting addresses. So in this particular case, I set this up at 40, 60, 80, and 100. So I do have empty channels in between there that we're not using. But I'll show you how to patch doing that. Let's take these out for a minute. So again, select them to select remove and it'll ask if you want to remove them and they're gone. All right, so I have our Chavez set up here. Next, I click patch it. I'm going to say select heads. I want 21 through 24. So I go 21 through 24 at universe one starting at address 40 and then I'm going to put slash 20. So I want every 20 channels to put another light in. So uh, heads 21 through 24 at universe 1 starting at channel 40 but then allow 20 channels for each light. So now that we do it you'll see DMX 40, 60, 80, and 100. So it automatically did that for you. Okay. So putting in the slash and then that number sets the number of channels. It's like putting a channel gap in there between the lights. But it sets okay how many want of channels do you want to reserve for each light basically. So I've reserved 20 channels, even though I'm only using 12. Okay, so my head numbers are in there correctly, 21 through 24. This is all filled in for us now. There is actually a name there. It's a mixed light. We have the head numbers in there correctly, and we have the DMX addresses. Okay, so now we're going to patch our back lights here, which is the Chauvet Colorin H918 channel mode. This is a DJ light, so we're going to select here. We're going to do uh, choose head. Chauvet DJ, color band H9 USB. We're going to go to uh, 18 channel mode here. And so that is selected. Now we need to patch these at 120, 140, and 160. So again, 20 in between there. So I'm going to say patch it. Go 25 through. 27, so that's three lights at universe one, address 120, slash. I would like a 20 channel gap for each light, enter. So there we go 120, 140, 160. So now that, that matches up 120, 140, 160, head 25, 26, and 27. Okay, now finally we're going to patch our rogue R1s. So they're uh, going to be head number 28 and 29 and patched at 200 and 220. We're going to patch those there. So, All right, let's choose this head first, Rogue R1. That is going to be professional Chauvet light. So let's do choose head, Chauvet probe, uh, Rogue R1 beam. There it is. And we're going to be in 19 channel mode. I select 19 channel. Now we're going to patch it. And we want that patch that 200 and 220. So again, a 20, 20 channel reserve. So I'm going to say patch it. We're going to do 28 and 29, 28 through 29 at universe one, starting at address 200 dash 200 and slash 20 channels. Per, per, per reserve there, enter. So there we go, 200 and 220, and we're on heads number 2829, the row R1 beam, so we're all set up. Now, now that we have the patch window set up too, you can look around here a little bit at some of the soft buttons up here, 
And no notice right now we're doing it as far as viewing heads as, as in head mode. So our heads are numbered 1 through 29. That's the way we are, have our heads numbered. We can look at channels. And this is now looking at DMX. So DMX 220, 238. We can scroll up. Generic dimmer 1, 3, 5, 8. And using our mouse, we can kind of scroll down here. And we can see where some of the lights are patched. There's our, our um, first par hex, our second par hex. So it's showing us actually all the channels that are in the light. So these par hexes, like they use 12 channels. Dimmer, red, green, blue, amber, white, ultraviolet, strobe, color macro, auto, auto speed, and dimmer speed. And all of this stuff will be pre-programmed in there for you. And here's our color dash H9s that are at the back. And then finally down here, we get down to address 200. We have the ones that we just did with the, the, pro, the R1 beams. So again, that shows you there. This, if we do view, view DMX, is kind of showing us it sorts by DMX address over here. So there are different ways of uh, viewing that and how that's set up. So I'll just go back to view heads. And even here, you can select, say, I just want to see my lights that are dimmers. Or I just want to see my lights that are the par hexes or just the uh, color band H9s or the rogue R1 beams or I want to see all the lights and see how they're programmed in. So again there are some different selections you can make there to look at things. But that's it. We've got everything patched.